The New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles both play their second divisional game of the 2017 NFL season when they meet in Week 3. The Eagles sit in a three-way tie atop the NFC East, while the Giants are in a must-win situation of sorts after starting the year 0-2. The latest betting odds have Philadelphia favored by six points at home via Odds Shark, and the over/under is 43. Here's a closer look at the Week 3 game as well as a prediction against the spread with the Eagles could cover the spread it'd be an understatement to say the Giants have looked bad in the first two games of the season. After scoring three points in their season opening loss at Dallas New York put up just 10 points at home against the Detroit Lions. There's plenty of evidence to suggest their offense won't get much better this season, and scoring even one touchdown in Philadelphia could prove to be a chore. New York's offensive struggles date back to last year's 11-win season. The Giants didn't score 30 points in any game, and they haven't reached the 20-point mark since Week 12 against the Cleveland Browns. That includes a 24-19 Week 16 loss in Philadelphia, when the Eagles had nothing on the line. A few teams have showcased awful offensive line play through two games, and the Giants don't take a backseat to anyone in that department. Eli Manning is tied for second in the NFL in sacks, and he's seemingly under duress during most of his dropbacks. Manning's play hasn't helped matters much, missing a few open receivers and often throwing the ball short of the sticks when the Giants are in need of a first down. Top Eagles 2017 Gordes through week 2 at PFF Fly Eagles Fly Pick. Twitter. Com 6 Uck Turin PFF Fly Eagles at PFF Philly September 19, 2017. All of that spells trouble for New York against Philadelphia, who can get to the quarterback better than most teams. Their eight sacks are tied for fourth in the league. Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham could dominate the right side of the Giants' line. On the left side, the Eagles should feast on Eric Flowers, who surrendered three sacks Monday night. Offensively, the Eagles probably won't have to do too much. Carson Wentz is better than the last time the Giants saw him, as are the quarterback's weapons. Philadelphia has one of the few offensive lines that can win the battle against New York's front four. Why the Giants could cover the spread Anion who watched New York in 2016 knew that the team would struggle to move the ball this season. An immobile quarterback and an offensive line didn't stop the Giants from making the playoffs a year ago, and there is a path for them to leave Philadelphia with a win. New York's defense is good enough to win in spite of its offense. After ranking second in points allowed, the unit might be just as tough to score on this season. Dallas dominated time of possession in Week 1 and only managed to put up 19 points. Detroit used good field position and a special team's touchdown to score 24 points Monday, but the Lions were held to just 257 yards of total offense when the Giants were without top cornerback Janoris Jenkins and lending tickler B.J. Goodson. Both defenders are expected to return Sunday, potentially making life difficult for Wentz. He posted passer ratings of 64.5 and 70.1 in his games against New York as a rookie, throwing one touchdown pass and three interceptions. The quarterback didn't have bad numbers against a good Kansas City defense in Week 2, though he only completed 54.3% of his passes. A dropped interception that turned into a 53-yard gain for the Eagles boosted his passer rating to 83.0. The New York Giants are betting underdogs against the Philadelphia Eagles in Week 3. Pictured Eli Manning is tackled by Cornelius Washington after an attempted pass at MetLife Stadium on September 18, 2017 in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Photo Getty Images The opportunity is there for Manning to have his best game of the young season. Cornerback Ronald Darby suffered an ankle injury in Week 1, and three members of Philadelphia's secondary are dealing with hamstring injuries. Odell Beckham Jr. will be on the field and closer to full strength than he was in Week 2. He can turn a short pass into a big play at any moment. Sometimes, that's all New York's defense needs to secure a win. Prediction There are a few reasons to believe the Eagles are the class of the NFC East. The Cowboys have their issues on defense and aren't going 133 for a second straight year. Philadelphia has already beaten Washington on the road, and the Giants look like a mess through two games. There's no shame in losing by one score at Kansas City, who might be the best team in football. The Eagles should take care of business at home against the Giants, who can't seem to find any answers on offense. Philadelphia over New York, 2010